Welcome to the Mafia News Podcast. We're coming in with Sam Hurd, ex-NFL player, alleged by the federal government, turned kingpin. Make sure you're watching, like, subscribe, comment below. Let's get into it. Sam Hurd was never destined for the Cowboys record books. An undrafted wide receiver out of Northern Illinois, he recorded a modest 45 catches for 630 yards and excelled on special teams during four seasons with the team before he was traded to the Chicago Bears in 2011. Hurd will be better remembered for his involvement in a sizable marijuana and cocaine distribution ring. He was busted by the feds in 2011 after trying to set up the purchase of a half ton of marijuana and five to 10 bricks of cocaine every week at a Chicago steakhouse. He pled guilty to drug trafficking and was sentenced to 15 years in federal prison. The ex NFL player provided a statement during his court hearing saying he regrets not thinking about the consequences. The consequences of his selfish actions that have caused harm to his family. He regrets his actions that led him to lose his career in the NFL, saying his life is made up of good fortune and a train wreck of bad decisions. It was also discovered, heard as many other professional athletes had a passion for smoking marijuana. For the last three or four years of his NFL career, heard smoke high grade Cali Loud. Most of the marijuana Heard had shipped in from California. He smoked himself a share at a cost with friends, stemming from 20 to 25 teammates, spanning his five years with the Cowboys. A two-year federal investigation into Heard's activities conducted by the Department of Homeland Security has produced no evidence that Heard made a profit selling marijuana. Heard and at least half of all NFL players, by Heard's conservative estimate, smoke marijuana at some point during the season. And members of two teams, the Broncos and Seahawks, live and pay taxes in marijuana legal states. Players smoke cannabis for various reasons. According to interviews with NFL veterans, to get out of bed easier, to manage stress, to relax, to alleviate pain, or simply to get high. Heard began smoking heavily while rehabbing after ankle injury in 2008. He never knew a day his job wasn't on the line. So once he got healthy again, he smoked to reduce stress, but mainly he smoked to get high. Though he pled guilty to drug trafficking, Heard explains he isn't the cocaine kingpin the feds made him out to be. It's a complicated story that takes several thousand words to explain. But Heard essentially insists he was set up. He did arrange a cocaine purchase at a Chicago steakhouse but he was doing it on behalf of a friend whose job managing a North Dallas Firestone wasn't quite enough to make ends meet. Several months after the Heard indictment, it's allegations from witnesses alleging Heard teamed up with a cousin to distribute cocaine, which was fabricated by dealers hoping to work deals with the feds. Heard in an interview said, sentence me for what I did moving weed and getting caught up in the stupid cocaine thing. All this other stuff though, don't you think if I really did it, I would have confessed and got my sentence knocked down as soon as they started talking about life in prison? However, U.S. District Judge George Solis didn't buy it. He's guilty, he said. It all led to him. Heard was sentenced to 15 years with a release date scheduled for May 30th of 2023. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Man, he had everything going for him in the world. I wanna be down, you ask me. <laughs> These are guys that be in the way and end up telling. What good does it do a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul?